we first are going to download a save file from the internet and I usually use the gamefacts.gamespot.com website to do this and for the Gamecast saves you have to go to more systems and then see all then scroll down to the 6th gen and or to the 6th generation and go to the Gamecast page and here you can search for the game that you want to save files for and if, you, if the game is not here in the top 10 or top 10 message board, you can go to alpha, then search for the ladder of the game. And in this case, I'm looking for Sonic Adventure. And then scroll down until you see the game. Go to the game page, then go to the saves page. And in here, we are looking for DSI file. You can go to this menu and jump to the to the DSF file in this case. Also make sure that the save file is the same region as your game. And I'm going to download this one, just a random one. You also have to download a memory card explorer or a memory card manager. And in this case, it's called VMU Explorer. You can just click on this link to download the file. Now go to where you have downloaded the files and in the case of the VMU Explorer or the Memory Card Manager, we have to extract the files. And if you're using 7-zip with Windows 11, you can Alt Shift, right click on top of it, go to 7-zip and then extract to folder or VMU Explorer and this will extract it to a folder. Then go inside of the folder and run VMU Explorer.exe. And then here, this will prompt a uh, open directory so you can open your retroarch flycast core and you have to go to your retroarch folder and then go inside of the system folder dc folder and if you don't have a dc folder you can run a game in retroarch and this folder should be created automatically and here you have your four memory cards or vmus and then you can choose whatever you want and to import the file that we downloaded from the internet, go to file and then import file. And here in this menu, choose Nexus card file dump, DCI. Go to where you have downloaded the file to choose the file and that's it. If of course you have already a Sonic Adventure uh, file in this case, it will overwrite your file. And if you don't want to overwrite it, you can make a copy of your memory cards so you don't lose your original file then you have to go to file and save vm and that's it now go to retroarch run the game with the flycast core And as you can see, this file is working correctly. That's it for this video and thank you for watching.